Yo, 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 peeps, how are you all getting on? This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios, and welcome back to yet another video. And today we're going to be looking at Xeon's M20C on my right and the M20 on my left. The M20C on my right is a full RGB light, and the M20 on my left is a bi color light. And both lights come delivering a formidable 20 watt power output accompanied by professional grade dimming capabilities and extremely innovative features now controlling and shaping light is essential for both video and photography and that my friends is when the m20c and the m20 come into play the combo version on my right provides everything you need to get you going straight out of the box let me show you and it comes featuring different layers of diffusion and as they are magnetically attached you simply push them off together and there's the light and that's all the combo version now let me put them on one by one now firstly you get the first layer of diffusion which magnetically attaches and secondly you get this honeycomb grid simply attaches on and finally but not least you get my favorite four leaf barn doors which also magnetically attaches and by doing that you can shape the light however you want so I can make it as small as I want or I can make it as bright as a one. Isn't that just a cool feature? Let me put it back onto the light stand. Now you're probably thinking where that blue light was coming from and the blue light that's been reflected on my right is actually coming from the M20C. Let me show you because it comes with an app too. Here's the app, let's just turn that light off and look at that difference. And let's turn the app on by pressing the power button. And there you go, what a difference, eh? So both of these lights come with various options to modify the light. With that being said, let's go and roll the intro. Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio, video and lighting gear each and every week. And don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout this video. Having said that, let's go and see what comes in the boxes. Both lights come in these well-packaged boxes. On opening the box, you'll obviously find the M20C light pre-installed in its magnetic a removable cage. You'll also find a detachable magnet diffuser, a detachable magnet plastic honeycomb grid, and a detachable metal four-leaf barn doors. You'll also find a USB-C charging cable and a carry bag to keep the whole kit safely in. And finally, but not least, you'll find a quick start guide. Now, the M20 non-combo version comes in the same style box as the M20C inside you'll find the M20 fill light, which looks identical to the M20C. The M20 also comes with a pre-installed magnetic or removable cage. You'll also find a USB-C charging cable and a carry bag to keep the whole lighting kit in. And finally, but not least, you'll find a quick start guide. So if you're interested in the M20C, a combo version, it will set you back around £169 in the UK. The non-combo version will set you back around £139. And the M20, a non-combo version, will set you back around £89. With the combo version, it will set you back around £119 in the UK at the time of filming this video. As always, I'll drop the links in the description down below. And it's also worth visiting their website, zeon-tech.com, for more information about these two lights and all their other lineup of amazing products. And moving on, let's go and check out the build quality and the features. As far as the build quality goes, both the M20C, the M20 and the diffuser kit feels absolutely amazing and have a very pro feel about them and I have a zero complaints. Size wise, they are no bigger than a sticky note out of their magnetic casing. Both lights deliver a powerful 20 watt output with a professional dimming and innovative features. Now looking at the provided magnet case first, you get four cold shoe mounts all around and the bottom one has a quarter inch screw hole for securely attached attaching to any lighting tripod. On the rear, you get a rubberized magnetic strip for easy placement in those awkward positions. The M20 series of lights easily attaches to tables, walls, and even vehicles using the onboard strong magnets. On the rear, the magnetic strip also has a metal latch to remove the internal pocket-sized light out of its casing. As already mentioned, the combo version comes with a cinematic professional magnetics modifier pack, which can be stacked or used in various combinations and me personally would 100% opt in for buying the combo version, which will provide you with that final pro look that we all desire. The Xeon M20 series light also features the exclusive DynaVort cooling system Mark II, which reduces heat sink thickness, improves airflow, and minimizes a drag. Now let's go and check out the settings 
on the rear. On a side-by-side -side comparison, the M20C has dual color temperature from 2500 to 10,000 Kelvin, green and magenta shift control with full color RGB and HSI features. On the other hand, the M20 also has dual color temperature but from 2700 to 6500. The M20C has a TLCI of 96 plus and a CRI of 94 plus. The M20 has a TLCI of 97 plus and a CRI of 95 plus. Both lights come with the DynaVault cooling system Mark II. The M20C is fully controllable via the ZV Vega mobile app and the M20 has no app control. The M20C has 18 creative light effects with the latest software update of version 172, 6 RGB moods and a music mode and the M20 has 10 creative lighting effects and a music mode. On the rear you have full control of the light through an easy lighting control system. Everything is easily managed using the button dials. As for the battery state the fill light sustains a consistent 40 minutes operation at its full 20 watt power, 1 hour 20 minutes at 10 watt continuous output and up to a mega 3 hours at 5 watts continuous output. Both lights are compatible with PD power banks and charging adapters. The small LED screens on the rear shows all the light settings and there's a simple control interface with two separate knobs to power on and off and quickly adjust color temperature, illumination, built-in effects and frequency. The M20 C and M20 are powered on by a single press followed by a long press on the left dial which acts as the power on and off button and the menu selection. Turning the left dial moves up and down on the selected menus. Pressing the on and off and mode dial toggles between various menus from HSI, RGB, effects, music and the menu mode. Turning the right dial enables you to dial in the desired value and percentage of each selected mode and effects. And in all fairness both of these lights have so many settings, menus and controls it'll be difficult for me to cover in just one video but there's a ton of possibilities on board. Now with that all out of the way let's go and power up the ZY Vega app. So just to put something into perspective, I'm going to switch some of the lights off so we can actually see the M20C in full action. M20 on my left, as you can see, and if I put my hand across there, that's what it looks like. And that's the M20C on my right. So now we're in the app, like I said, on the top, you can control the light on and off. Here I can control all the brightness levels. And the, the beauty thing about the brightness levels is it goes in increments of 0.1. I haven't seen that on a light before. And on the bottom, I can, you, I can either use the sliders or I can use the plus or minus buttons and on the bottom I've got the CCT mode which goes from a 2500 on the right all the way up to 10,000 that's what that looks like you've got different buttons here for daylight tungsten modeling light fluorescent light sunlight xeon lamp and so on the, the bottom slider is for the uh, green and magenta shift control to minus 10 to plus 10 for the greens and at the bottom you've got the various gels and one of my favorite modes is the hsi and rgb mode and let's just do a quick spin on that see i'm going back into the i'm going into the greens going into the yellows and by the way let's go into full and now i'm going to the reds let's just move that into the reds the magentas moving into the realm of the blues the cyan and back to green here you can pick pick whatever you want so just pick 200 confirm and it sets the exact color you want so below that you got the brightness slider and below is the saturation you also got a color picker on here i've got a red light there so let's pick that red Boom, and it's done. So the color picker works very, very well. Now, the only thing I'm a bit surprised about here is that you can't control the effects. I think that might come in later updates. So if I switch that light off, that is what it looks like. And if I turn this one around, that is what it looks like. And believe it or not, I'm running the M20C in only 6%. You can see I'm now holding the M20C in my hand, and this is what it sounds like. The fan has actually come on now, and this is what it sounds like and the M20C is running in just 1%. Amazingly, it's how well these barn doors act. Now, these are the barn doors kind of fully opened. Okay, so that's at 10%. Now we're gonna control this light in, in real time just to give it a bit of shaping. So it's a bit more focused rather than just spilling out everywhere. If I was to turn it around, that's all you're gonna get from me. It's great for filming, product photography, and having it in a very controlled situation. The size of this light just fits in the palm of my hand. No bigger than a little sticker. That is without any diffusion. 
That's the first layer of diffusion, the actual honeycomb grid. It obviously started controlling all the light there and the barn doors. There you go. And I absolutely love the M20C, especially the combo version. And I will say this again, if you do decide to get the M20C or the M20, do get it with the combo version. You won't regret it and you will thank me later. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's go and show you some B-roll action. Wow, wouldn't you agree that the M20C combo version and the M20 are just amazing portable lights. With that being said, let's go and wrap up this video with some final thoughts. So the M20C and the M20 portable light stand as paragons of innovation and functionality, embodying excellence in portable lighting solutions. With a robust 20 watt power output, professional grade dimming and cutting edge features, these lights redefine versatility in the realm of videography and photography. Their ergonomic design and intuitive controls makes them user friendly. Furthermore, the magnetic and stackable design adds a layer of convenience and adaptability, making them indispensable tools for any creative pursuit. In conclusion, the M20C and the M20 portable lights stand at the pinnacle of portable lighting. So finally, would I recommend the M20C and the M20 to you? Absolutely yes, 100%. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, drop me a DM on my Instagram at Futureshock Studios. So anyway peeps that's all you're going to get from me for today hit that like button if you enjoyed the video smash it if that's your kind of thing subscribe if you aren't already and i shall catch you in the next video